is all about option coverage and shutting down your opponent. Yep, option coverage, shutting down your opponent. Like the meta shifted, I think it was around like 20, I want to say it was like 2013, 2012, mm -hmm. from spacing fair to spacing down tilt. Because mm -hmm. space down tilt is just way better. And I'm, if there's a Marth out there that can correct me a bit more, that'd be great. I'd really like to like get my information but down. You'll be used to seeing Marths that do things like, uh, so for instance, what you'll see Blue Zap do against other people will be, he'll be the guy that'll charge neutral B at ledge and then drop it preemptively to react to the, act, to the actual decision that isn't going to get caught by neutral B. So he'd drop, for instance, if they go high, he'll drop <laughs> neutral B early and then go for fair. I didn't realize. Okay, that was kind of a weird little stage interaction. Yo, he flex Rumble Crunch. Why aren't you here, man? We were supposed to, supposed to Falcon Ditto in bracket again. He, was he here? Yeah, he was here early. Did he, did he not? Did you not play in bracket? Or did we just not meet in bracket? I, I didn't see you in they the sea of people. Didn't, you guys probably didn't meet. Honestly, you two as a commentary dude would actually be really fun to watch. Dude, me and me and Rumble Crunch? Yeah. Dude, we commentate all the time together. I would like Super to fun. Send me a set of you two casts. Yo, thank you, Smasher Empathy. We have been uh I'm Oh, oh. oh sorry. Alright. Yeah. Let's get into it. First game here of winners finals. Mm. Alright. Blue Zaf bringing the Marth out, playing a bit more serious for winners finals. Hey, what's that tournament funny today? Ooh, there's the run back back here. You know, and uh, from LK's performance last game uh, against Bananas, knocking him into losers, I'm not sure how well he's going to do against Blue Zap. I think that he's he might be able to get something going, uh, but he does seem to favor down smash. And LK, um, he loves this game a lot. He does. But he's losing neutral right now. Oh. So fun story, uh, or fun fact, down smash, tippered, is actually more powerful than Tipper Force Smash. It's a great, it's great against floaties in particular, and yes. it's great for actually, uh, like if you do it right, and if you're already really good as Mars. Yeah. Uh, it's fantastic for uh, for tech chasing sheiks. <laughs> like, it's it's it seems really stupid, but I remember seeing a, I think it was an SSBM tutorial huh. on it, and it was just like you can actually use down smash to tech chase sheiks, and it can kill them. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I like the dash attack, but it's pretty sick. Ooh, trying to slingshot him out. Ooh, slapping the base. Yeah, that's that's what happens uh, when you don't space fair against Peach. They kind of drift there, and then they just drop down ooh. on top of you. Guessing right on the Tekken place, there's the follow-up. Yep. Blue Zap showing him the what for. And he's at that 100. Oh, trying to get the counter, getting turn up Naird for his trouble. Ooh, okay, good fade back. Wow. Yep. Dash out, dash back, Dude, and grab. The micro spacing on some runarounds of players that just kind of know what's going on um, continually impresses me. So, honestly. the way that I can best describe Blue Zapped is he's someone who has a Rubik's Cube in front of him. And he's he has this Rubik's Cube called LK in front of him. And he's taking apart all these pieces, figuring out exactly where everything is, and he's trying to solve that puzzle. Yeah, would you say he's a game one downloader of sorts? You know? He usually is someone that he will try a lot of stuff in game one, and you'll see he's already learning. Mm -hmm. Game two, he'll be a lot stronger. Oh, stitch face. And it comes back oh, to LK <laughs> to try to adapt. If he had that fair, he would have just smacked him right in stitch, and it would have been very crispy. Did dash attack. Oh, tipper up, tipper up there. Oh. LK. Oh, trying to go jump. deep. Oh, it's a reverse edge guard situation. He manages to pick it up. Taking back to neutral stage. All right, going to the top platform. Yeah, that's good there. He's okay. That's a bin. See, he doesn't. He's going deep where he doesn't have to right now, and he can just kind of grab ledge at that distance. Doesn't have to worry. And now he's got him in the situation up on the platform. Oh, Ooh. Big tipper. Oh, that's punishment. All right, now if he if he just turns around and grabs ledge. Why are you not grabbing ledge? Oh, when Marth goes that deep. He is now honest. He has to sweet spot. Yep. He has to sweet spot if he's that deep. Now, if he's above and he has double jump, you have to. Then yes, he has some options. Yep. And I mean, at that percent, honestly, you, you really need to make sure that you cover the sweet spot option because you can punish within the landing lag uh, if Marth has to land on stage. Now we're seeing like LK try to adjust for whenever Blue Zap is going high back onto the stage. You'll see him try to double jump mm -hmm. and then uh, nair. But honestly, you could float 
and then try to adjust accordingly as well. Yeah, and Blue Zap just taking all of these missed edge guards and he's just making so much more percent off of them, and he's making these stocks just vanish. Oh, he's a cashing in for sure. Look at that after. I thought he was going to go for a forward smash there. No, he's got the calm under fire. Because he knows at this percentage, all he needs is F tilt. True, if he true. tipper F tilts, he's, he's dead. Just yeah. Done. Why take the risk? This comes out faster, and you get better there results. It is. Peach holding on on the brink. That's there the back air. That's the stock. That's the game. Let's see. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that you've been you, we've been seeing Blue Zaft do things like okay, let me put it this way. From the Mars that we've seen today, mm -hmm. he's completely different. Oh yeah. Like How he much does he actually like wave dash? You don't ever see him do pivot F smash. You never see him do like the high tech stuff. Yeah, he he doesn't go for what is generally in the meta. Like he relies really heavily on dash dance. Relies super heavily on just getting those those confirm on approaches, like Nair and a grab. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like He's yeah, very like, much about... Like, there is the wave dash back and not much else. And he's just about the spacing. Yep. No overcommitment. Oh, wow. wow. Just calling him right out. Was that... Was that wave dash in place up smash? Um, it is a good way to kind of just stop it as opposed to crouch. I'm not sure what he did exactly. I want to I double check. I'll see if the clouds are out of speed next time. Ooh. Ooh, let's go. Yep. Um, I'm not sure if the FD counter pick was the smartest decision because I mean Peach can you know she can space a lot better she can make sure that Marth doesn't get her his platform shenanigans make sure that you know, the turnips are a bit more of a, an influence on a plane right uh, of influence there I think um, there's two ways there's like two stages to look at this matchup right there's Peach with turnip and there's Peach without turnip and Marth plays very different Ooh. depending on each yep oh, oh. he's fine he's fine he's oh fine. he covered it he really solid. If he had sweet spotted there, he would have been a lot better off. I mean, but there is that panic that comes with, you know, getting randomly hit by a turnip and then smacked around a little bit more. He probably didn't have his double either, so he probably had that really yeah, quick he, panic. He, he, had to, he had to be at that point. Oh, man. LK is actually running train right now, and he's, he's got him at a stock deficit. Or a percent deficit, pardon me. Ooh, good F smash. Down tilt? Ooh. You saw how he angled the, F to, how he angled the shield forward yep. there, actually? Because he, he, he's been getting conked on the head a lot with F Smash. Yeah. Now yeah. LK is really cognizant of it. Yeah, and he wants to get dragged in by it, um, just so he can get a grab or something, just so he can get a little closer, get a down smash in. But Blue Zaft, I think, is becoming aware of that, and he's realizing that uh, LK is approaching a bit more on shield and switching up to a grab oriented game right now. Good Nair as he approaches. Going for that same turnip setup as last time, but it's not going to work. He goes low. Oh. Good counter. Oh, man. Oh, ever so close. The reason why that didn't work is because F tilt lifted the hurt box closer towards Peach. It's mm -hmm. the only reason. Down tilt. Oh, no, counters early. That is something that I've noticed that Blue Zap does a little bit more than a lot of Mars's counter. How? That was that entire string of events. Oh. No, he's in trouble now. That's going to be the stock. Yeah, one turnip, one lone turnip. Yeah, he jumped off at that point, so his double jump was gone, and he just kind of got clipped by it. Oh. See, okay, going for up smash. All right. Never, never really see that much, you know, other than on a, on a rare combo. Just chills, just chills. Yep, both of these players just trying to play around each other's spacing. I don't know if you noticed this. Who's that full hops a lot? Yep. That's uh, like one of the, one of the reasons that a lot of people cite uh, Wizzy losing to Chillin due to Evo this year uh -huh. was that he was he's a very different fox because uh -huh. he's an old school fox. Yeah, an old school fox is full hop. Yeah, like new school foxes, like a full hop is like almost a mistake. Like it's like it's a yeah. rare thing that needs to come out as a mix up. But like Chillin dude full hops a lot, <laughs> and people aren't adjust yeah. used to that. And old school players will use it as a mix up tool. And as a mix-up on the timing to mess with people, and it works. He and gets turnip was coming there. That's what the counter was there yeah. for. And he didn't even put an aerial out there. He just waited. Oh, Nair is such a great move. Oh, my God. Like Mar Mars Nair is fantastic for just, like, blocking out aerials. Oh. The fact that it auto-cancels yep. all of it. Good job using Okay, so he went preemptively there. Yeah. 
He couldn't could have, have capitalized have. much, honestly, because he was past 100%, uh -huh. so he would have to slow get up. If he was sub 100, he would have been able to do the quick get up and punish from there. Yeah. But it's a lot harder as Peach just because she has a, a slower jump than a lot of characters. That down smash is going to pull him in, though, and finish him off. Look at the retreat. LK doesn't want any of it. Yeah, he's trying to play on the ledge right now. Oh, wow. great air dodge to get back on. Tricky. He's still locked down away from center stage, and he wants to be able to reclaim that. Down smash will send him out and away. Down tilt? Ooh. No, F tilt again. Forward smash. Ah, that'll be it, yep. And Blue's aft managing to take winner's finals. LK getting knocked down into losers. Old school. He he didn't do anything flashy. He didn't do anything high tech. Yep. He played LK. He played the person yeah. sitting next to you, him. You, don't, like, you can play the matchup. As soon as you play the person, that's where it's at. God. What? Oh, the tablet? Yeah. Why do you want the tablet? Why do you want the tablet? All right. Oh, yeah. You're good. So Gucci Mane. Gosh, dude. The my be my <laughs> meme doesn't mean anything anymore. It feels good, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yo, know, people sleep on chilling, but he's still top 100 after, you know, 14 years of playing this game, 15 years, 16 Where's years. Ken in that list? Ken, he's like, he was 37 on... It was like 37 or 38 on 2015 Melee on me. I'm not sure where he is right now. Mm. Gosh. Dude. Keyboard smash. Oh. So we're nearly <laughs> done for the night. Uh, we are closing it out. Dude, we got to get food, though. I'm starving. Dude, I, I went and got, like, some chicken nuggers. Dude, some nuggies? Yeah, dude. That, that really is, like, the goat. The dankest nugs? I'm trying to, like, not go too heavy on it. Like, for yeah. dinner, that's super late. Feel that. Oh. Dude, it's been, a, it's been a splurge weekend for sure. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's been a, a food splurge for sure. Oh, that's true. Um, so when you're grabbed and being pummeled, I believe you're considered grounded because yeah, while you, you, you can't crouch cancel it, you know, because you're in grab state. Yeah. Uh, but it is easy to, yeah, we, we care about you, Golden Smash Bro 105. Uh, we do care that you're watching because, like, yes. having viewers and having interactive chat and having people that are willing to watch us and be a part of the community, super good stuff. But we, that's one of the things that we started doing a lot here at T Lock. Dude, it's important, you know. Like, it be, is. Like, uh, number one rule is like a solo streamer is being able to interact with chat. Yeah. Which is why me being a small streamer and not having a chat to interact with makes the silences long and awkward. Yeah. Which is why it's great to have a person to cast with. <laughs> <laughs> So if I just didn't have a chat and just had to solo cast games by myself, woo wee! Did you see my message? Too? Oh, let me look here. Let me, cause we uh we were really focusing up. Yeah, we were. See, sometimes you gotta focus out. Do we, oh. we got downtime. Yeah, we got questions coming. Oh, in. dude, you had a headache going home, questions. dude. I hope you feel better.